Wow, it's way up there. Oh no. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 25 and this is Ruthless District. It's horde every night, feral sense is always on, and the zombies always run. There's a horde defense. We did build it here initially, but we weren't getting the loot stage bonus. We built it just within the wasteland so we can benefit from the loot stage bonus when we're looting the horde night bags. We're going to see how that works out long term. We've got some bacon and eggs and stuff. It's trader restock, so I'm just going through here, seeing if there's anything that we want to sell. I think we basically got it here. Yeah, we're good. We've got some more stuff to sell over at the trader. We've got a drop chest over there. Let's find our bicycle. There it is. And we have got a buried supplies to do down here, actually. Now, this buried supplies could well be really close to the wasteland, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. That could be interesting. Oh, you horrible thing. I heard a zombie coming through the trees over there and backed into a thug. <laughs> Oh, feral sense. No, it doesn't look like this is going to be in the wasteland. I think we're going to be okay. Wow, she saw me from miles away. It's crazy how feral sense still surprises me. And let's eat that bacon and eggs. All right, so they've dumped it right by this tree. And we have a businessman inbound. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, what we like to do with these ones is place a wooden frame at each end of it, like so. North, south, east, west, and then we can see the circle shrink and try and establish whereabouts it is. Whoa, where did you come from? She very nearly got me. Just about heard her in time. Okay, so we saw it move pretty much everywhere except for over here. So why don't we start digging down towards that? Yes, yeah, so it should just be here somewhere. Yeah, and there it is. And we can reach it from here. Uh, we've got potato seed, we'll just sell it. And some pretty mess stuff. Get back. Just the two of you. Really? Tom Clark. We took his arm off. Oh, maybe we got a crawler as well. We'll just cover up the worst of that hole and head over to Trader Wrecked, see what his restock has for us, and then we'll do some tier two quests for the first time. That'll be interesting. Oh, we've still got stuff in here. That's silly. Right, what have we got to sell? An okay amount of stuff. Oh, there's another skill point. Wow. Another point in skull crusher, please. I know I could make a better stone sledge, but I've only just made this one. We haven't even got any mods. So I'll take the... I'm going to take the herbal antibiotics, and that should just mean we don't have to worry about infections for a long, long time. And let's see if he's got anything worth... Ooh, generator bank straight away. Right, okay. We're doing this. Take a sugar bit, and we'll sell, sell, sell. Ooh, I just sold one antibiotic. That was a mistake. Thankfully, I didn't sell a stack. This sells for 154. We repair it with some scrap iron. Sells for 272. Well worth it. We're going to buy that generator bank straight away. Ooh, triple pocket mod. It's very nice. Uh, he's got a few other little bits that are quite interesting. Like the motorcycle handlebars and stuff like that. The workbench is very tempting. Those to forge. And the triple... I'm going to buy the triple pocket mod because that's going to help us right now. We'll buy the veggie stews. So we've got five grand left. We're going to buy this workbench at some point. Don't worry about that. And we may pick up the motorcycle handlebars. I'm not sure. What we really need is fence posts as well, but one thing at a time. Okay, so we've got a few clear zombies and a fetch here. It'll be interesting to see how many of these we can do. Uh, let's start with the furthest away clear, household bungalow. Let's get into that. Take her out. Grab everything out of there. And let's put it in here and we can sort stuff out later. Stick that triple pocket mod on there. Good, good, good. That's helped a lot already. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's get some questing done. All right, here's the place. I want you to go in here. I guess we're supposed to drop straight down, although we could run in here. Just because we can. Now let's drop down here then. I'll lock that a second. I would like to take apart this workbench. We need to take apart these things whenever we see them. Such good materials from them. Steven! 
Oh, that sounds like zombies outside. This is potentially very bad. Yep, that's exactly where it is. Hey! Come on now! I kept ghosting through him. Here we go. I think that's it. We also need to start... Uh, I was going to say we need to start getting cement, but... Do you know what? I'm not. I'm going to scrap that for the stone and we're just going to get cobble for now. Because we do need some cobble desperately. Okay, we've got a couple of friends here. We got them. And we need to wrench TVs whenever we see them as well. Ready for when we can repair fence posts in the future. Uh, scrap, scrap, take. Uh, we'll wear that, I guess, since we haven't got one. My goodness, we need a helmet light. It's so dark in here. I'm going to have to do this to show you where I'm going. Oh, hello. It took a silly hit, but all's well. Ooh, more cobble. That's nice. Wow, more good stuff out of that. Doing well on cobble here today. Oh, there's a shamway box. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll just take it. Pick up these chairs for the free wood as well. Why not? Hey! Hey, come on now. Well, she caught me off guard. Decent stuff there. Now let's pop that golden rug right now. We're a bit thirsty. And we may as well grab this bed as well. Alright, so we're back over here. The janitor in the closet, so to speak. Okay, we've got a loaded pistol, loaded shotgun, some molotovs and a sledgehammer. Let's get up here. Okay, well, there's the trap. Um, what are these? Not as good as what we're wearing. Sewing kits is good. Let's just eat that lamb so it's out of the way. One plant fiber isn't doing anything for me. Okay, good, good, good. Another cooking pot. Okay, we've got a few of them awake here by the sounds of it. Hello! Ooh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Beauty, Tom Clark. Area's clear. Fantastic. Uh, fire axe, I don't care. We'll take that. Fortitude plus one. But well, we're not wearing anything. And we have an airdrop overhead. Ooh, forge schematic. I'm glad I didn't buy that forge now. That's a beautiful find. That's dropped over here. We're going to go and get that. Because those airdrops have some great stuff in sometimes. Decent stuff there. We'll repair that so we can sell it. Yep. And that's a better bow knife again. Alright, we're out of there. Next stop then, airdrop. I just want to see what it's going to give us. Uh, it's over in this direction. This airdrop looks like it's way up a mountain. Or up a tree. Oh, I think it's up at that tree there. Yep, that's what's happened. Okay then. Get out of it. Wow, it's way up there. Oh, no. Oh, man, that sucks. Got a broken leg. I just don't want to lose the airdrop. I was going to pull up to it. I nearly died. Let's uh, pop that first aid kit, eh? Can we make a duct tape? We can. Oh, no. Bad timing. I think what's going to happen is this is going to destroy the airdrop. Oh, maybe they fixed that bug. Well, I wish I knew that already. Farm bundle, eh? Kinda lame. Right, let's quickly make a splint. We'll use it. And we'll open this. That's given us three farm plots and some seeds. Well, whoop de doo I'm really furious that, that happened, because I've just lost so much time. Come on, you. Get out of it. So it seems they've made broken legs even more fun in Alpha 20 by making it so if you press sprint on the bicycle and want to travel anywhere at remotely decent speed, that hurts your leg as well and stops the timer going down. So fun all round. 
This is the most I've been frustrated in Alpha 19, honestly. Broken legs are just too severe. An airdrop shouldn't land in trees. <laughs> I'm just going to sprint everywhere. I just haven't got the patience. Everything's really Painkillers yeah. or an actual Henson rifle. Here. 72 range damage. I'm going to take that. All right, we'll try and knock Danger. out these fetches, eh? Well, at least one or two of them. Since we lost a massive chunk of time chasing a devastating airdrop. We need Skull Crusher 4. We need some plant fibers. And we need to make a sledge. Quality 5, just like that. Scrap this one. Fantastic. We could try the hunting rifle out instead of the shotgun. Gotta have a bit of a faster reload, right? Yeah, that's significantly faster than the shotgun. So it's a much better single shot weapon to have. Hello, Steven. And hello, Nursey Girl. Well, that one shot's him. That's nice. All right, let's get into this. It's here to clear. I thought this was a fetch. Okay, whatever. Uh oh. Well, that's an interesting spawn. Interesting that they're putting snakes into POIs more and more these days. And this is uh, some super quick, easy stone, so we may as well grab it. Oh, there's a gun safe here. We haven't got time to break into it, though. Right, we'll do a bit of stealth. Which has woken old one eye up over here. Uh, we'll just read both of those. If we keep getting shotgun shells at the speed we're getting them, we might use some shotgun turrets in the future. Right, here we go. Tom Clark. Oh, they both, they both fell over. They hit the deck. Oh, you're tough. I think we have a cooking grill. I'll scrap it. Bow schematic for sale there. Deception shades. We'll sell them. We should probably use a bandage. Oh, I was already pretty much full health. Oh well. Red tea recipe to sell. Wow, I'm close to those landmines. Uh oh. If I rebroke my leg, then I would have been furious. Too, so much jumping. In fact, you lose hit points every time you jump. So painful. Uh, I've got no shovel on me, so we can't get that cobble. Okay, we're just going to cheese this here. There we go. And there should be one zombie in here, right? Yes, indeed. Stand up so I don't hit the loot, please. Good deal. Uh, there's a rubbish pipe pistol, not even worth selling. Um, Semi-useful stuff. We'll just scrap that for iron. Quite a lot of loot here, to be fair. We're thirsty, are we? Okay, let's drink a couple of coffees here. Uh, rifle parts to sell. A little weapons bag that I nearly missed. Some baton parts to sell. Shamway number one. Yeah, it's okay. And shamway number two. Grab that stuff and I think we'll take the sham sandwiches just in case food becomes a real issue later. Drop onto that and then drop down. Oh, we've got a zombie in here. A bonus one. This is what I like about the POIs. If you explore, you can find bonus zombies that aren't part of the queer quest sometimes. It's a really cool change. And we've got a bookstore box out of the deal with a couple more sellables. Those schematics are great early game mini. And a construction site box, which has got a bit of forged iron. Happy days. Uh, we're pretty close to home. I think we're just going to head back and we'll get the trader reward next episode. Because we are quite low in time here. How are we doing for wood? Uh, yeah, we need to get a little bit of wood as well. So we'll do that on our way back. Except I just realised that all our cobble is back in the drop chest and we probably do need that to build with. So yeah, let's in fact go back and get that reward now. And then we can drop some stuff off that needs to be sold in future as well. Okay, we're all good. Let's get in here, quickly get a reward. And we'll get a quest to kick off next episode with as well, so we're making the most use of our time. I'll take the pistol. It's a good reward. And then we'll take 
block. Our sold ranch. Right, we haven't got much time to get back, but I think the horde base is more or less in working order. Okay, we have a spawn. Okay, good. Could have been a lot worse. We're gonna have to lose some hit points here every time we jump. Let's make sure we only have to make one trip here. Yeah, this pistol's a lot better. Let's press modify so we get the ammo back. Bring these out and we'll scrap that for parts. Dude, I have not got time. Quite liking this hunting rifle. Eat that veggie stew. Have we got no steroids at all? Steroids actually stop your timer going up. Oh yeah, we have. Brilliant. Alright, we'll grab them for the end of the horde. Guess we'll grab a stack of shotgun shells in case we want to use that. Probably just want to... That's the wrong block. We probably just want to make sure... Up to this level here... Is at least cobble as much as possible. Okay, we are out of cobble. Let's get up top. Seal that up there. And we may as well just get this upgraded while we wait. Ooh, we have a dog. We got it. Okay, so we've got everything upgraded, so at least wood now, that's our exit. We're ready for the horde, so unfortunately, because I have a broken leg, I can't really do too much more at the moment. But the one thing I would like to do, broken leg be damned, I'm gonna go and get a torch if I've got one from over here, just so we can see a bit better during the horde. Okay, I'm sure it's there, but I can't see it. How do you make a torch? Animal fart, cloth wood. Cloth, animal fart, like two torches. If that'll do, let's get back. There we go, let's put these torches here so at least we can see a little bit. I guess let's bring the old shotgun down. Oh, I should have got more 762, that's for sure. We got the pistol up. Oh, is about to begin, so we will take our coffee for that stamina regen. Bring it on, zombies. Wow, it's a lot more of them, that's for sure. Whoa, he started randomly digging. I suppose we could pick random ones off like this as they approach. Okay, this is definitely more action-packed. Just gotta get the time of that swing down. Might just grab this loot bag. Ooh, pipe bombs. Uh, maybe we light them on fire over there. And time it. Okay, this is working nicely for the time being. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up without fence posts. Oh, beautiful. Except he just hit me. Let's take a bandage. There's a good crowd of them over there. The Molotovs are doing great work for us. Probably just need to keep using them. Sensational. Oh, there's a lot of them coming in now. Lucky for us, I'm in the head popping business. One over you come. Oh yes, that group knockdown as well, I forgot about that. That makes this hard defence a lot more viable actually. Ow! Damn party girl. We've got a good Molotov out there. The spread of damage on the Molotov is insane. She's just digging for no reason. I don't know why they're doing that. I think there's a, perhaps been a bit of an AI update where they just randomly attack blocks more often. Come on. Nice. And I think that's the last zombie and we got two skill points. We're going to go straight into Miner. Need to get that block damage up. How long do steroids last? 10 minutes, so when we get 10 minutes left in our leg is when I will use the steroids. Uh, let's have a look here. What's our loot stage? 67. Let's see what that gives us. Yep, okay. Decent enough stuff. There's a good amount of 762. And again, straight away we're up to like a stack of 762, so that's nice. Uh, they are beating on these blocks over here quite significantly if you look here. And we do need to get this as strong as possible. That seems to be it for the loot bags. Uh, yep, that's it.
Well, we're past the need for a lot of wood now. Next thing we need is a lot of stone. So I'm going to go and chip away at this big old boulder over here for the rest of the night, I think. Oh, and maybe I'll see if I can make a forge. Just to stop me losing HP every time, I'm going to do this. Just so I can get up and down a bit easier. Right, okay, so let me just test something here then. It's 3am, uh, if I jump now, you can see I lost a hit point and the broken leg icon, it kind of vibrated. Let's take this steroid and let's see now. Yeah, that works, okay. So you don't lose hit points and it doesn't make the timer go up. That's good to know, so we can take all this stuff back. Now we can go back to our normal lives because we've got nine minutes left on the broken leg and we have steroids active for the duration, so that's nice. Now what do we need? Clay, we got stone, oh we got some more cobble there, I didn't realise we had pipes, oh leather, forge, what am I missing? Three duct tape, I'm sure we have plenty of glue, yep, and three cloth, make that into three duct tape, and the forge is ready to be crafted, so we've got that to look forward to next time, we're going to save half our clay there for that, and then we're going to queue up 500 cobble, the rest of this clay can go in the forge along with this here iron. We'll pop that veggie stew now, and we'll pop that one red tea we've got lying about. We'll save that coffee for hoard tonight. This is a very, very temporary base setup, of course, but it's what we're rolling with for the time being. So let's just get 25 minutes of burn time there. Okay, and I think we're set and ready to go again for next time. So we'll leave it off here. So thank you so much for joining. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like down below. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, why not subscribe today as the morning bell goes off. Thank you so much, have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.